So we see in section 63 uh, a, a different side of God than we've seen mostly throughout the scriptures. And this is a very angry, seemingly a very angry God. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it appears in, in verses 2 and 6 and 11 and 32 and 33. God's angry with the wicked, with the faithless, and those who seek after signs to build faith. I mean, in some senses, one might argue you really get a kind of one-sided portrayal of God. And as both from our experience, our personal experiences with him and both elsewhere in scripture, we see that that's not all there is to his character. And we had a video, I think, from a viewer at home who had a question about this. Yeah. Hi, we're the Civic Kids from Southern California. And the question that we have for you is, how do we navigate through the contrary depictions of God? Such as in Doctrine and Covenants Covenant 63, verse 34, it says, and the saints also shall hardly escape. Nevertheless, I, the Lord, am with them. Similarly, in verse 26, it says, Nevertheless, I, the Lord, render unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's. But in verse 40, it says, And let all the monies which can be spared, it mattereth not unto me, whether it be little or much, be sent up unto the land of Zion, unto them whom I have appointed to receive. So maybe we can throw that out to our audience first. What do you all think? We have these different depictions of God in different places. Are they contrary? Are they complementary? How, how do you reconcile these? Well, we're his children, right? And so I, I would expect him to have the gamut of emotions that we have. Mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of like when Nephi talks about opposites, we got to have happiness and sadness in order to appreciate the happiness, right? Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't expect my, my father to be just one-sided if I'm not. And uh, I think when Heavenly Father is portrayed as, as angry, it's, it's kind of like, come on, come on, you guys, you can do better than this. Yeah, in fact, there's a quote from Elder Maxwell that's actually right online with what you're saying here. He says the following, God's anger is kindled not because we have harmed him, but because we have harmed ourselves. This, it's not like God is like, I am so mad at you because you've hurt me, and he's upset because of who we are as children hurting ourselves or hurting other people. As a parent, I don't want to lie to my children and say to them, I'm pleased with you all day long, when in reality I'm not. I mean, they're going to have a false impression of me as their mother. Uh, it's the same way we would have a false impression of, of our father, too. I'm reminded of that, uh, you know, Alma 5 through 9 in the Book of Mormon, when Alma's going through different cities to preach to the people. And depending on kind of their spiritual state, his, his rhetoric and the way he presents himself is a little bit different. Uh, in the first city, he's very fire and brimstone, very you've, very, uh, you've kindled the wrath of God, and you know, you're going to be punished and destroyed. 